Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do a quick market update on Bitcoin, ETH, EGLD, BRA, and also the usual China FUD and manipulation that's happening right now. Um, China FUD has been around again and again and again. And I've got a picture here actually. So it's all of the times that Bitcoin has been banned by China and inevitably Bitcoin is still here. But the way they manipulate this is that they release media articles and big players also dump at the same time to cause fear. And this is why you get these big one day red wicks. It's happened twice uh, this month, which is um, obviously shaking out a lot of people. However, we've been in this structure since July and we always had to return back to this stone for a retest so it does look a little bit bearish but in reality this is normal volatility and retesting the breakout areas so for me i'm not too worried we've also got this long period of sell-off the entire month and pre prior to that you know we had a lot of buying and all of this happens in waves so the macro structure especially when you zoom out to the weekly is well pretty perfect we had an ascending wedge we broke out came down we tested support and now we would hope we linger here uh check the 50 week moving average maybe as well in a wick maybe next week before we start moving again um, the only concerning thing was this crossover on the um, selling pressure the momentum it's actually crossed over a little bit here. It can revert. I mean, it's just kind of a momentum of this one, two, three, four weeks essentially catching up. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to think I'm going to break out of here next week. Might not happen. Um, if we don't, I can't see us closing below 39, 38,000. Only a week down and back up. That's my opinion. I can always be wrong been wrong many times before um, but back to the bitcoin uh china fud as usual it was um 15 percent last time up since the last one it's happened again 24th september we're actually down but we've actually got a piss stick video here which i played back on the 19th of may which was the last time they banned bitcoin so this is a classic and when you actually look at the on-chain data, which if you want to look at some of those metrics. Ah, I sell Bitcoin at top, but we need to move market down. Let's say China ban Bitcoin. <laughs> nah, at all. We do the 15 time already. But it still works. So, okay, okay, I try, I try. Yeah, hello, internet. Yeah, see, uh, this is a big cheaper bank of China. Uh, yeah, we ban Bitcoin now. Oh, oh what? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, dear God. China's banning Bitcoin. Sell. Sell it all. Oh. So, South Park taking the piss. But, um, yeah. How many times do we need to do it before people start to learn? Uh, nobody really cares about China anymore. They can do what they want. They've got their own China coin, so who cares? And on the flip side of this as well, as all of this manipulation is happening, uh, dumps are happening, ultimately, the only thing that matters is a long-term adoption process and people accumulating Bitcoin. So Plan C mentions uh, yesterday that the liquid supply, which is basically Bitcoin wallets, which has never been sold, is now at an all-time high. Last time it was at an all-time high, the price was also at the all-time high of the 64k area. So what, what we're seeing is Despite all of this manipulation to scare people to sell and the dumping which is happening, in reality, loads of people who understand the long-term game are constantly accumulating. So as you can see here, the liquid supply, which is the orange line, broke through the previous all-time high and is, well, going a little bit parabolic, which is a really good sign. But despite that, the price is still going down. Well, how is that possible? Well... Obviously, the smart money don't buy tops. They wait for these panic sell-offs and scares and manipulation. And then they swipe the Bitcoin at the bottom. 
Now, I don't have the metrics. I haven't checked it yet. But I can guarantee, if you do check the metrics, and I'll be able to tomorrow when I'm streaming with Plan C, loads of Bitcoin will have got swiped off the exchange at the bottom of this week on the panic there. And I bet as well here on this dump it would have happened. So it's actually a healthy sign for the long-term movement of the market. For me, nothing to worry about. But as Bitcoin goes sideways and down, you are going to see a little bit more damage to the alts. So we need to talk about the Bitcoin dominance. And we can see here, this is the weekly view. Uh, Bitcoin was at an all-time low, I believe, back on the 8th of January. 18 and then slowly regained market cap and recently uh, took another huge dump but it's still a higher low than back here on the macro scale you can see that huge sell-off crossed over on the MACD and we're still showing momentum upwards so the longer Bitcoin goes sideways in this 40-42k area with no major upside moves you're going to see more and more alts bleed so when everybody's asking the question, oh, why is Matic not doing anything? Or why is Cardano not pumping? Or et cetera, et cetera, EGLD. Well, it's just because of the market. Market trumps projects still. And Bitcoin is the market. Uh, so we've got a double bottom, which normally signifies a reversal. You can see these two moving averages are 7 and 21, acting as a resistance. When the likelihood here is it um, gets trapped comes at the upside and bitcoin market dominance can go up without the without the price going up you just need alt to bleed and that money move into bitcoin that's what i think we're seeing now if you're looking for entries uh, on bitcoin eve egld vra or your favorite alts one of the things i have noticed which is quite a good um sign for planning for an entry is this blue line is a 50 day moving average on Bitcoin, we've moved beneath it. Now, let's have a look at Ethereum. 50-day moving average, we've moved beneath it. Let's have a look at VRA. 50-day moving average, we're beneath it. I also need to update this. Consolidation zone, we usually pop out to the upside. We did, but it was a fake out. We've actually gone down. Now, if you watched my previous videos on VRA, I did say be careful about getting in near the top because we could have a correction into this golden ribbon the goldilocks zone which if you're a patient you've had lots of buying opportunities in here and to be fair it's not looking pretty we could be going down to the uh 2.3 cent range potentially that's where it looks like it's going uh for a bounce so let's look at eGLD which is my favorite we are still above the 50 day moving average sloping down lower highs it makes sense it doesn't have to happen but it makes sense that we're going to move below it so the chances are the 50 is going to move up to here and the price action is going to come down and either bounce off it or move under so if you are planning an egld entry personally i'd be looking for a 200 dollar entry or better that looks like where we're heading for a bounce <laughs> And just to show you that rule, Cardano, sorry, Matic, again, beneath the 50-day moving average. Cardano, look, we've just gone through it below. So we have to understand that 90% of the time, most of the coin's behaviours will follow Bitcoin and ETH in their traje trajectory. Not always, but most of the time they do. So that's just something to look out for. So to sum up, what we are seeing is potentially Bitcoin trying to retake some market dominance, which means alts may bleed more. So understand that. Market trumps project still. We are still in an immature market. Bitcoin is in its accumulation zone. Does have potential to drop down to the 38, 39,000 on a wick. My belief that we're going to go sideways in here and pop out to the upside. And get back to the all-time high area by the end of October. That could be wishful thinking. There's obviously a lot of global turmoil in the um, economic markets. So there could be 
a, a random Black Swan event that we're not expecting. Uh, the Evergrande uh, event in China that just happened. So, to show up, Bitcoin looking like it wants to retake some market cap dominance. The world's an absolute shit show, so expect a dump at any time. But ultimately, we're still in structure, and we just need a confirmation of which way we're going. I believe we're still going up. Long term, it's always up. You just have to expand your time horizons. Any uh, questions or TA on any other uh, project, put it in the comments, like and subscribe. Thank you.